Philippine news today. Please subscribe and then check notification box to get all breaking news alert. Just so you know, if you're a Christian, especially a white one, you're a backwards, ignorant bigot. At least, that's what the left seems to think these days. Yes, being a Christian in this day and age, one that gasp wears it on his or her sleeve, cough Tim Double, makes you public enemy number one actually, saying numeral uno might be more appropriate. Even though surveys still show that the majority of people in the U.S. self-identify as Christians, the left's propaganda machines make it seem like we're a tiny minority that deserves to be hated. And thanks to ubiquitous denigration, people are increasingly thumbing their noses at the religion, treating practitioners like they're members of some cannibalistic Amazonian tribe, only unlike real ones, however, they want to eradicate all traces of our existence. But, the temporary reprieve Trump's presidency has given us has lit a small fire in the Christian community, as more and more are coming to realize the very real threat leftist opposes to the U.S. Also, having a ballsy president that doesn't give a crap what the media thinks helps. Liberals hate him for all sorts of reasons, but the recent development will give them yet another reason to despise our commander-in-chief. As reported at the Independent Journal Review, it has been a century since weekly Bible studies were held in the White House, but what's being called the Trump Cabinet Bible Study has taken shape, and it appears a lot of important people in our government are attending. Ralph Drolinger, founder of Capital Ministries, told CBN News that some of the most powerful men in the United States are now holding weekly Bible groups to study the Word of God. Drolinger, a former NBA player, said it's the best Bible study that I've ever taught in my life. They are so teachable, they're so noble, they're so learned, he added. The list of regulars, according to CBN News includes CIA Director Mike Pompeo, Health Secretary Tom Price, Energy Secretary Rick Perry, Agriculture Secretary Sonny Perdue, and Education Secretary Betsy DeVoe. Won't be long before you see all the liberal sites and news networks ringing their calouse less, pampered hands at the thought of these officials having their decisions influenced by their Christian faith. By golly, you better not let a religion, 2,000 years old and strongly practiced by the masses throughout the Western world for centuries and by ingenious leaders and people affect your choices. I mean, it's not like it had anything at all to do with how these nations evolved, took shape and set up their respective governments. Or did it? My leftist history professor said it didn't so. What matters is that those in attendance don't care how the media portrays their gatherings. President Trump himself is invited to the Bible studies and is given a copy of Drolinger's teachings each week. Vice President Mike Pence reportedly plans to start going when he can find the time. Drolinger couldn't say enough good things about the Christian men in Trump's cabinet. I just praise God for them. And I praise God for Mike Pence, who I think with Donald Trump shows great people to lead our nation, he told CBN News. It's welcome news to see such powerful people humbling themselves and realizing their own smallness in the grand scheme.